Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another Craftopia video, episode number nine. Uh, this one is going to be short. Uh, I've been having PC Gremlins. I uh, finally got it fixed, thanks to Ryan. Uh, so I'm going to do a quick tour and an update of where we stand on this uh, fishing camp, okay? Uh, like I said, we the, the uh, beach house that we did, the last video, guys, is just right over there. I did uh, progress on that some more. I know I had some things that were unfinished, and I went back and did that. Add a little bit more of railing that needed to be done, and up top there was some uh, some little uh, wraparounds that were missing to make it look a little bit more uh, full. So I did that. Uh, eventually, I'll probably I'll probably go back over there and show that to you guys. But uh, here for the fishing camp uh, again, those that are new, this uh, intent of this was to create. Well, let me back up a little bit because I know we did get some new subscribers from that. Um, Beach House, and thanks for that, guys. Uh, and I have, I am working on another project, so uh, that will be coming out probably within the next two or three days. But back on this, uh, we had a survival, Craftopia had a survival uh, base all set up, or a uh, server set up. We lost our recipes on that. We weren't able to do any any building in that. Uh, the recipes came back, but uh, at the time, we uh, created a uh, sandbox world. So Dizzle had just started... Uh, working on that actually is when Dizzle first joined Craftopia. So I came over here and moved this whole project along over here and didn't feel like going back over there because it, it was already more progressed on this server than the other server. Uh, I believe those guys are actually, uh, with this recent update, they might be having issues again. So it's actually kind of glad that we are doing this here. But this build, as the intent is, was to create it in survival and only use what we unlock uh, for log cabin as well as uh, Starter Shack or uh, Pleasant Park. So that's all that we're trying to use with this particular build. And Dizzle uh, liked using the uh, the camp on the islands because I had did this in my own world, which we will get back to because that is up and running again. And uh, so here we are with this. So sorry if that was long-winded, but I'm just trying to get you guys caught up. Uh, I finally created... Uh, I know we could swim, and I know we have uh, charms now to make us swim faster, but... I wanted to create something a little different as far as to get from the shoreline to the island. So I came up with this little parkour. Now I did make one of mistake right here. That's a little too far. It is uh, doable. You can jump from there. But sometimes Dizzle doesn't make it. Let's see if I can do it on recording. Oh, yes. Oh, I missed the last one. Boo. Fail. <laughs> uh, so again, this this came all because when fishing came out, uh, I was really excited for fishing, guys, and I still am. I only caught one legendary fish, so I need to get back uh, back into it um, in a survival world. But I, I ended up putting the uh, raspberries all around because the raspberries were here. I didn't feel like getting rid of the... Uh, I tried to keep as much nature as possible on the builds. I created this, I said I was going to do this, bring some planners, planner boxes all the way around that. I think it looks actually looks really nice. Worked well. I had to get some wheat in here. I don't know what I'm going to do up here yet, guys. May or may not do anything, to be honest, but I am going to leave the log there. I don't want to build a bridge like we did over there. I think this is pretty cool that this is here naturally, unless lightning strikes it or something happens, or Kaboom comes and destroys it. <laughs> uh... And for those that are new, the swing is gone. I had to get rid of it because we had to move it. Basically, this is how wide it is. I think I'm going to move it. Uh, see if he can build a little bit further back here. And I think we should have clearance uh, from there. So, fingers crossed. If not, if it destroys this, that's fixable. But there was a nice tree here. Uh, but that's gone now. And it did not come back. And then I put Dizzle storage sheds here because I wanted to go in between. Now, I wasn't sure how I was going to decorate it, uh, but I went with this. Someone had mentioned to get these storage sheds in, and that's a good point because we don't have a lot other than what's in here. Again, for those that are new, this is you know this is what you would need to you know fish and uh, get food out of it and make your bait buckets with the food processor, the juicer, the uh, mill for the wheat to get flour, and then the grill. Uh, that that's the base structure. Um, if you want to get caught up on that, go back and look at look at the uh, first episode of this. It'll let you know where we started and how far we've come. So hopefully the swing can fit here. We do have more storage now. 
Again, I don't know what I'm going to do up here. Oh, and I did. I just, because this is hanging over the edge. I still got to fix some more of it, but as you can see, I am building it all the way down. So it's a solid piece. So it's not just floating. Oh, <laughs> as I just did. Oh my gosh, that was hilarious. The timing. Oh man. All right. And over here, we had the machines down here, but I moved them up because when the, when the fishing plaques came in, I thought they would look cool there. So that's that's what's there. Got some seating here. Sit down with the Craftopians when they come visit. Ryan was here, but he left. Told him he can come back. But we, we brought the machines up here because I did want to bring in the machines. So we have the crafting bench and the essence table. I guess we can upgrade that. But I'm going to go out this way. You can go either way, guys. I have this all set up now. This is all done. So now we capture the sunrise, the sunset, which it's about to do. We can fish off of here. And then I fixed this. I made this to make it, it forced us to go this way. And then guys, I actually had to take this all out from the last video. I had to take all of this out because I made a mistake. I needed to go out one more so we can bring these down. Okay. So that's done. Uh, we got a project coming. Well, we got Kaboom coming to move that. And then I have Haskins on a project. Um, that's he, yeah, we already talked about it. It's just a matter of when he can get to it. I know he's been busy. Uh, but hopefully he can here in the near future. And we can get this completely wrapped up. And I'll do a, uh, a tour of that. Because I got some little things still to finish here. So it's, this is not completely done. But I wanted to build another seating area with the uh, fire pit. If you guys remember this, this was from our, our starter camp. That we had over there and just outside of Dizzle's uh, workshop. This, the really, there's a very little room to walk around. I really didn't want to fish out here. I just wanted a place to put that particular fire pit in. Because we have the other one over there. That one's flat. That one I did want to fish on. And usually when you fish... Oh, we leveled up. Let's go. When you uh, fish, this structure kind of gets in your way. But we can still do it. I think we're going to be able to. See, visually, it's kind of in your way. I thought that looked cool, much better. Fills the space, especially with the sunset. And then I, end, I did end up bumping this out, guys, so we can put storage and another place to sit. This is how I have it in my own personal world, my own server. A little bit extension out here. Fish some more. And then I built another floating garden. We got the uh, slap berries here. That we got the peppers up there. We have the wheat. The raspberries we don't need, but they're in. You can fish off of here as well as it's a, uh, an active uh, garden, guys. Again, with this building this in mind that this was could be used in survival. So there you go, guys. That's a, a you're all caught up. This is a little bit different. No building on this one. Just the tour. Like I said, I was having uh, some PC issues, and I thought it'd be better just to. Give you a tour rather than try and work through all of the the uh the troubles that i was having but a big thanks to ryan he did help out with that uh, in our uh, craftopia discord little quick tip and what i needed to uh, check into and it it worked guys i'm very happy so there you go let's see if we can uh parkour back and then we are going to end this one guys i like this little path again i know we can swim I thought this was something different. Oh, I, f I flew. Dang it. <laughs> I ruined it. I missed the last one and then I fly there. Uh, but this looks really good. I like this. This is nice. This might be my screenshot right here. All right, guys. Dizzle will catch you on the next one.